Hey friends, Michael Shane Bloom here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to focus stack using Photoshop. Focus stacking is pretty simple. It's basically just taking different focal points from your foreground to your background, and then the stacking part is just taking those images and crunching them together to get an image that's in focus from front to back. Let's go ahead and dive in. As you can see here, I have Lightroom open. Um, you can go ahead and do this through Adobe Bridge or another program as well, but I prefer Lightroom. Um, here is my image for the background. You can see I've got these images for more of the midground, a little bit into the foreground, and then of course, if I go to this first image, you'll see that the edges here are in focus, but of course the background is out of focus. So a nice five image stack for this. I've done a quick process in Lightroom. If you're going to process your images before focus stacking, just make sure to synchronize all the images so they're the exact same color tonality and they have the same edits applied across all the photographs. So you can see here I've synchronized my settings. Let's take all these images, select them all, right click, edit in, and then layers in Photoshop. All right, great. So here are our images all stacked together. You can see here we've got our background layer all the way up to that foreground layer. Let's select all these and we need to actually align these now because even though I was on a tripod, these images aren't perfectly aligned. You can see there's some breathing here and there's a slight shift of perspective based on changing that focus. And this does happen a lot when you are focus stacking. So let's take all these, make sure they're all selected, go up to edit and auto align layers. Make sure that nothing is selected besides auto. Don't select these two or you could get messed up results. Click OK. And Photoshop is just going to go ahead and analyze the data and align these images based on all the information. And so if we scroll through here, you can see it did a great job aligning our images. And of course it has to crop in because of that perspective change that we talked about. So we'll need to crop these images after we're done. So I do recommend if you're gonna do focus stacking, make sure you um, have a slightly zoomed out perspective of what you're actually going to want because if you are planning on focus stacking, you're gonna to have to crop your images a little bit. Let's select all these now, go up to edit and auto blend layers. Now in this one, make sure you're on stack images and make sure that these two checkboxes are not selected. Click OK. And there we go. It has stacked our photograph. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and see what it did. See if there's any problems. And of course, Photoshop does run into problems occasionally. And uh, even for a simple file like this, we've already run into a problem. You can see here, there's this weird edge here where Photoshop got confused. Photoshop also took in some of this back mountain and decided it wanted the back mountain to be blurry. I didn't want the back mountain to be blurry, so we're going to have to change that. Um, but of course, for the foreground, it actually did a really fantastic job taking all those images and getting them tack sharp from front to back. So all we really need to do here is we need to get more of that background in there. You can see there's a mask right here. I'm actually going to take that background layer, duplicate it, get rid of the mask that they created. I'm going to bring that to the top of the image. And I'm basically just going to make a gradient here on the mask from black to white. And I want to invert that, so Control i or Command-I if you're on a Mac. And so what I've done here is I've replaced the focus stack for the background that Photoshop created because Photoshop created it incorrectly. So if we zoom in here now, you can see that bringing that in fixed the problems in the background. Make sure to do a crop to remove that blurry edge to the photograph that Photoshop creates. I would say for most images, Photoshop does do a really great job and gives me a result pretty similar to this one. So as far as troubleshooting goes, let's say Photoshop just isn't working for this image and it's not uh, doing the focus stack correctly. Well, you can do it manually. And uh, for an image like this, it's actually pretty easy. So let me just show you how I would go about that. So 
Um, here are the different puzzle pieces that Photoshop created. We just want to go ahead and remove all these masks. And then I want to click off the eyeballs right here. So we're going to start out with this layer. This is where we're going to be taking the top from because the top is in focus. And then we want to paint in the areas that are blurry. And it's actually not that hard. So we're going to click on this image and we're going to just paint in this area. We're going to make a mask right here. And right now the mask is completely white so the entire image is shining through. Control I or Command I on a Mac to invert that. So now this image is not shining through and we want to paint in with white to reveal the area of focus. And I just want to zoom in here. So it looks like we start to get out of focus right about here. So if I start painting on here, you can see This area is starting to get a little sharper. And we're just subtly painting in that focus. And then from here, looks like it gets a little bit blurrier. So I'm just going to now take this layer, and you can see it starts to get in focus right about here. And we're going to do the same thing, just make a new mask invert the mask, and then with white again, right where it starts to get a little bit out of focus, I'm just going to go in and paint that so we're nice and tack sharp. Now this process is definitely more annoying than doing the Photoshop way, but there are some images that Photoshop just doesn't really feel like, <laughs> doesn't feel like doing the stack properly. And for those images, you are going to have to do a different method and usually just going in and doing it manually. It takes a little longer, but it does produce some good results. Paint that in. Of course, when you're doing this for your own image, just make sure to be very careful and just spend a little bit of extra time making sure everything is nice and in focus. And then the final photograph for that bottom area. Invert the mask. Paint on with white for these bottom edges. And then we just want to go ahead and crop out those blurry areas. Boom. Done. In the future, I'll teach you guys how to do more advanced stacking using Photoshop and other programs. That's pretty much it. The most simple and basic way of focus stacking using Photoshop. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I will have plenty more videos out in the future. And if you have any suggestions of what you might like to see in the future as far as tutorials or videos, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.